And from the donut wars to the green war, it's America versus China. Can David beat Goliath? Yes, America, we are David. Find out on the other side of the break. This is Street Science. The Cold War is over, but America is now in a green war, and China is our adversary. America right now is losing. The Senate is hoping that small business can help close the gap with $30 billion in loans from Washington. The Apollo Alliance estimates that could generate more than $100 billion in revenue for clean energy businesses and create uh, up to 680,000 direct manufacturing jobs. Indirectly, obviously, they think they could get a lot more than that. Phil Angelides is with us, the chairman of Apollo Alliance, also, obviously, uh, former treasurer of California, and Bill Keith, founder of Sunrise Solar Incorporated, a small business specializing in solar attic fans. Thanks to both of you for being with us. And, and Phil, let me start with you. This is a, a bill sure. that's right now in Congress uh, that would give $30 billion in loans to small businesses uh, for, for, for green energy. The first question most people would have is, we just cost 787 in stimulus money. We don't have this money anywhere else? Well, look, this is an important investment for America. In fact, you know, you talked about the, the green race today versus the space race of another era, and we are in this race against other countries today. Seventy percent of the component parts of the clean energy industry are now made overseas, and we at Apollo support combating global warming. We want to see a climate energy bill pass, but we also want to make sure that when the green revolution comes, it creates jobs here in the U.S., and that's not happening here. So what we want to do is provide assistance to small manufacturers who can make the component parts of the new clean energy industry of the 21st century. It's an important investment in America's competitiveness right. and in our energy independence. Well, it is pretty amazing that 70 percent, right, Phil, at this point of the clean energy systems Correct. that we use in this country or the technology that we're using is coming from overseas. I mean, that's part of the reason why China is ranking number one in technological <laughs> leadership here. And we invented many of these technologies. So what's happened is Sherrod Brown in the Senate has put in a bill, the impact bill, to provide $30 billion in financing to retool and expand a lot of our existing manufacturing capacity. For example, suppliers that have been supplying the auto industry and old industries in this country that with a little retooling can be the suppliers to the new clean energy industry. And the House included these provisions in the climate energy bill. So we've got a chance here, but America is behind now, and we're going to lose the chance to get American jobs out of this green revolution unless we move quickly and now. Bill Keith, you are a founder of a solar company. You were a roofer. You are an entrepreneur. Uh, you have five direct employees, right? So you are one of the people here that, that we're trying to encourage. Uh, did, you must have tried every avenue you could. Why are you a supporter of, of getting this extra money? Well, I think it would encourage uh, more people like myself to step forward. Mm -hmm. When I was creating my solar-powered attic fan in my garage, uh, I went to my bank, I went to the Department of Commerce, I went to the SBA, the SBDC. Everybody turned away from me. The only way I was able to get money was to borrow against my house because my wife and I lived below our means. We had some equity we could borrow from. So, you know, I did it out of sheer will and determination, and now huh. my solar fans are sold all over the world, and we still don't really have any government incentives to help us. I'm not saying that I need that now at this point, but it would encourage a lot of other people to step up, and we definitely are behind. And you're exporting, though, all, all around the world. You said yes, yeah. Some of our big customers are in the Cayman Islands, the French West Indies, uh, Greece, Israel. Uh, sold a little bit in the United Arab Emirates, but uh, the Hawaiian Islands obviously uh, is a big. Uh, they've been in, into solar since the 70s, and they're a big customer of ours uh, domestically. Um, but yeah, we're selling all over the U.S. and uh, a lot of foreign countries. But we're definitely mm -hmm. a minority as as far as leadership goes in in renewables. So, Phil, if we get this fund, $30 billion revolving loan fund, for, for people, so more people like Bill can f start businesses, how can we make it work so they don't have the same experience he has going to all these agencies or going to that agency and not being able to get the money? Well, I think we need two things. First of all, we need to cap and reduce carbon emissions and uh, drive demand for renewable energy so we have demand in the marketplace. Then we need to position our manufacturers, our businesses to take advantage of it. And if you look at Senator Brown's bill and the House bill, it really provides for this financing to be done through the states at the local level. And what's interesting is, you know, some of the 
Big corporate interests have been opposing the climate bill, like the Chamber of Commerce and the National Association of Manufacturers. Mm -hmm. But 150 American manufacturers employing American workers have signed on to this, saying we want a climate bill, but we also want the assistance so we can be the leaders in the next uh, space race. You know, Apollo right. takes its name from Kennedy's commitment to go to the moon. Yep. We're in a similar race today, and we can win this. Bill, Phil, and Bill, thank you very much. Yes, we appreciate thank you. it. Thanks.